Hello, Cancer. Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using The Gilded Tarot by Ciro Marchetti. There's a companion book by Barbara Moore. Um, and there's the website, lewinland.com, if you're interested. Just freeze frame while you're, where you need to if you want any of that information. Supportive Oracle Cards, You Are Clairvoyant Oracle Cards by Belinda Grace. Illustrated by Elaine Marzen. Um, there's a website, rockpoolpublishing.com.au, as an Apple, use an umbrella. Okay, Kenza. Let's see what we have. All right, so your cards are interesting. Oh, just that one. Um, let's flip these over. Something is changing here. Something is definitely changing. Um, and I feel you stepping back and questioning, should I even try to deal with this? Should I even try to deal with this? You've got the King of Swords, but I'm noticing like on the back of the chair is the sun. Um, which I'm, I'm questioning, like I feel like the thing is, what is it better for me to do? Is it better for me to say something or to not say something? And it's kind of like, I don't want to be neglectful. I don't want to just ignore something. But like, it seems to be like it's weighing on me. And I feel like they're saying, by just letting this play out on its own and just letting it happen, you might get the best outcome for everybody. Especially you. They're saying instead of don't use the, don't be the king of swords in this situation. Don't be proactive. Ironically, they're saying be reactive, which I know a lot of people don't like that idea. But in some situations, it's better to be reactive and wait to see how it plays out, and not push forward. Just kind of hang back. Let's see what happens. Let's see where this goes. Um, the advice is to be more receptive and wait and see what happens. Absorb what's going on around you. Watch what's going on. Let it play out on its own. I don't think you're going to have to do anything. I feel like the advice starting right off is kind of like, let this take its course. Because somebody else, which is ironic, this is your card, the chariot card. Somebody else is moving forward with what they want. And they want what they want. They're going for it. They're deciding this is what's best for them. This is what they need. This is what they want. Um, and I feel you watching and you're kind of like, all right. Like, I almost, I want more information, but I'm like, whatever's happening, I'm not really sure I'm okay with it, but at the same time, I'm not really sure I'm against it either. It's almost like, I mean, it's just an example, so take it with a grain of salt. Like, there's, maybe you, there's a couple, maybe it's somebody in your family, they're married, or maybe they're in a long-term relationship, or just make it a long-term relationship. It could be friends, whatever. And that couple maybe is breaking up. And one person doesn't want it, the other one does. And it's kind of like, I don't really like the idea of them breaking up, but on the other hand, maybe it's for the best. It's kind of like one of those things. Kind of like, I don't, I don't know if I really like it, but on the other hand, maybe it is for the best for them. Um, and instead of getting involved with it and saying anything, maybe these are people who are close to you, and it's kind of like, you know what, I'll just... They're, they're, again, they're saying, don't, don't get involved, just kind of stay back and watch what happens. Somebody's going for what they really want, and I feel like that's what's not seen. What the other, what one person is going for, the other one wants it as well. It's just for both people, if that's how it's working out, to really be happy, this has to happen. Much better things. Things are better in the future, but it's it's not going to be seen at first. It's going to take a while before this really starts to show. So this is for the best. This is for the best. It doesn't, it's not going to, it doesn't seem like it really looks like it in the beginning. Like not everybody believes that, not everybody feels that way, but in the long run, everybody, this is better for everybody is what I'm getting. Um, cause somebody's cutting out and leaving and it's not a bad thing. There may be problems behind the scenes that are very hidden and maybe you kind of have inklings 
or you know some things that not everybody knows and you're like, you know what, there are some things about that relationship that are not good. So maybe maybe that is for the better. Um, maybe that is for the better. Because it seems like this is a blessing that this is moving on. And I feel like all you have to do is step back, hold the line, just don't let it get any worse, just kind of keep it together, keep people from t talking too much about it, kind of like, hey, that's their business, they got to do what they got to do. They're going to work it out the way they need to work it out. Let's just step back and let them do what they have to do. It's holding the line. You're holding the line. I feel like you're also kind of talking with other people and kind of like, you know, let them work it out. That's their business. Let them work it out. You seem to have that energy. This doesn't have to be about a relationship. If this is work-related, it may be something happening maybe with a couple other people or another department, and you're like, I don't. there's no reason for me to have to be a part of that. So I'm not going to be a part of that. And I'm trying to convince other people, yeah, let them work it out. That's not for everybody to be involved with. Let the people involved work it out. Let that area work it out. Um, you seem to be very good with kind of like, let's just keep it together. Let's just keep it calm. Let's just bring it down a notch. Um, that Eight of Swords is very interesting because I feel like you're trying to hold other people back. And it's kind of like... If I say something, other people are going to say something. If I get involved, other people are going to get involved, and I don't think that's a good idea. So I'm trying to distract people. <laughs> I'm trying to keep other people happy, and I'm just trying to give this impression like, I'm going to stay out of it, you all should stay out of it too. We should all just let that area, those people, deal with what they got to deal with. It does seem like it's for the best. Justice is coming in with the goddess. Um, this is a change that's meant to happen. That's what I'm getting. It feels like very divine order type feeling here. Um, what's supposed to happen is going to happen. There's a lot going on behind the scenes. I feel like everybody's going to do better. Information will come out later where it makes more sense. But again, it's like when I was showing you the Ace of Cups. It's a long time before it really kind of shows itself. It does take a while before it finally comes in. Because I'm getting these two cards with like communication, people feeling like, all right, now that that's done, now that that's finished off like if people were getting were breaking up or whatever and they're living separate lives or with different people or even if it's a work situation where that whoever's having the issue they work it out themselves and they find a viable solution for that in the long run when the communication comes in you're going to see that it, it did work out a lot better without everybody getting involved um, and things do stabilize that justice card is here but it's also coming in with this hierophant Things stabilize, but the Hierophant talks about longevity, about, you know, fixing the base sometimes. Um, kind of like, you know, what everything's built on, there's something a little off here, so we got to fix the base so that everything else stays where it's supposed to stay. And that's what I get with the Hierophant, like fixing the base. Like, this is how this is supposed to be, so let's get in here and correct things so they're back to the stable norm that they should be. Things are restabilizing, going back to square one fixing square one and making sure everything on top of it makes sense. And if not, deconstructing it as necessary and reconstructing it reconstructing it in a way that makes it stay where it's supposed to stay. Um, the Hierophant is very much about the rules. Very much about the rules. This is how this goes. This is where this goes. This, has to, this happens at this point. This happens at that point. Like A, B, C, D, E, F, G. You don't take them out of order. You do them at the right intervals. You keep them in tempo. Like... That's the Hierophant, the way I interpret the Hierophant, just to be fair. Um, and I'm getting like, other people are going to sort this out. I feel like it's better if you let other people sort this out too. Your energy, like you have a lot more success around you, just not being a part of it. I almost feel like this is one of those things where if you get involved with it, you get like dragged into some things that you don't have to deal with. It's almost kind of like, you know... If you get involved in a situation, you go visit your cousin, for example, and then you find out that they left the house a mess, you end up helping them clean up their mess. I mean, you're there as it is, and you just and they're like, can't you just help me? And you're like, yeah, I'll help you. So, <laughs> um, and in truth, they should clean up their own mess. I feel like this is kind of that type of thing. Like, this is a mess that somebody else made, and they should clean up their own mess. It's better for you to stay out of it because you shouldn't be cleaning up somebody else's mess. And you got other things you can enjoy. Success is more on your side if you stay back. Um, I do feel like the situation will still work out well if you do get involved. But it's kind of like you end up cleaning up somebody else's mess if you get involved. And it's not 
you don't, it's not something you should have to do. Um, you got a lot of other things going on. You don't need to be cleaning up somebody else's mess. Um, so step back and let them clean their own mess. I feel like, again, that's why they're saying go passive with it, see how it plays out. This isn't, you shouldn't be cleaning up somebody else's mess. That's not right. Let them clean up their own mess, whatever that means. All right, I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below with the same email. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.